What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Star Wars action figure review on the 6 inch black series Ahsoka Tano. If you're trying to pick this up, it will be available soon. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So this is the second figure I'm reviewing from the Star Wars Rebels cartoon series. She's also from the Clone Wars. A uh, very cool looking character. I'm not incredibly familiar with her, but we're going to get a good look at this figure over here. And really nice image of her right over there. I like that. And on the side, it just says Ahsoka Tano, and then on the back, you can see the same image from the front, and then there's a read-up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. You can see it says number 20 right there, number 20 right there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Ahsoka out of the packaging up on a Mafex stand, giving her an aerial pose over here. I really like this figure a lot. Now, I gotta say, at first, I was a little disappointed with it. I had a hard time posing her around at first, but then I kind of learned to work the figure, you know? You get some limitations with, you know, the dread thingies hanging from right over here, but it is still very manageable, and it just looks awesome. I mean, come on, look at the paint apps. The sculpt looks great. We get some soft goods right over there for that skirt piece. It's just a very good looking figure through and through. Anyway, she comes with her two lightsabers, so let's take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at Ahsoka. I don't know the exact origins of these lightsabers, but this one right over here looks pretty solid. Not a lot of sculpted detail in it. You do get a little bit of gold and very nice silver paint throughout. And I know that these are translucent clear because she is not a Jedi and then looking at this lightsaber I believe this is Count Dooku's it looks like Count Dooku's lightsaber but I like how this one has more etched out detail in it and the sculpt and you get some more black paint right there and right there I like that it looks pretty good and this one's definitely longer than the other one as you can see so there that goes and you can pop the sabers out completely if you'd like to so you can do that with both of those and she does have a lightsaber storage so as you can see on her hip right over here she has a little hook right there and he these have these uh, little loops and then you just take this other loop and then boom there you go you got some lightsaber storage not too shabby at all now, I think the character design for Ahsoka is just stunning I love it I think this is just a great palette over here I love the white and blue mixed in with the orange over here and the white paint on her face that looks fantastic as well like how the lips came out. Uh, the eye, uh, there's something a little bit off with the eyes, but not bad enough to really bother me, but definitely worth noting. A little bit on the cockeyed side. No, it's just the pupils don't really look in the same direction, you know, so that kind of does bother me a little bit. So I do like the paint apps on this figure, but they are not flawless. There are some little splotches here and there. Like, for instance, you can see some white paint missing from right over there, and that was like that before I even opened it but not enough to really make me upset. I like how we get some texturing right through here. I think that looks really good on these white pieces. You know, it actually has some textured lines in there, and I think that looks really good. I really like all these blue lines right there. This is just very cool to look at. I really like this design a lot. Now, I wish the Black Series gave us some interchangeable heads so we did get some more head articulation. Like, if we had a piece where you could, like, remove this or something or something where these were flared up so you could, you know, use more head movement. We used to get interchangeable heads with the Star Wars Black Series figure, so that would have been cool. But, anyway, it still does look good. Again, you could see some of that texturing right over there. I really like that a lot. And looking at the torso over here, this piece right over here is made out of a soft material, so it doesn't really hinder articulation. Get some fine paint apps right over there. It looks like you got some red bleeding onto this brown section, along with that silver. So, you know, like I said, it's not absolutely perfect with the paint apps, but for the most part, I think we're getting a lot of paint on this figure. And you can see the nice silver right over here, and then we get some more silver right over there. And then looking right here at the hips, it looks really nice. She has some very nice hips, by the way. I mean, Ahsoka got a booty. Yeah, she does. Look at that, man. That's impressive. And what's also impressive is the sculpted detail right here on these little flaps. I like that. That's cool. And then here we have the soft goods for the skirt. You can see the lightsabers dangling right over there. More sculpted lines throughout over here. Really nice. I think they did a really good job with this figure. I like how the boots look and everything. She does have the little heels, but you know, it's not too exaggerated or anything. The figure's still pretty easy to stand. Nice wrinkles throughout over here. I guess we could have used some shadowing effect or something, but still looks good. And she does have peg holes under her feet. But yeah, just taking one last look, but dow, she's got booty. Now there are limitations with the head articulation, but it's still manageable. Uh, turning side to side is tricky. 
But if you can get this flipped over her little collar piece right there, she will look left and right, but it'll always be at an angle. As far as looking down, she can look down a little bit, so you get that much movement looking down. And as far as looking up, you're getting practically none. It's very tricky because you have this whole ponytail thing, but it kind of it looks like it's looking up, but nah, not really. It's not really going to happen. And a tiny little bit of head pivot in there, but yeah, not really. I mean, you're, you're getting very limited head articulation over here just because of these pieces. Again, I wish they had an interchangeable head where these are flared up or something like that. Anyway, the shoulders move outward very far. They do move forward. No bicep swivel, no double jointed elbows, but we get the single joint right there and rotation at the elbow as well. On this left side, you get rotation and it does hinge up and down. On this right side, you get the roll of the dice motion. So it's a little bit different with that hinge over there. You get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. You get diaphragm pivot, which is very nice. And she does crunch forward some and she does move back quite a bit. She does have hip joints that move out Outwards very far, especially for having this skirt and everything. I feel like that's a very fair amount of movement. And she does kick forward a lot. I like that. And she does kick back very far. You get an upper thigh cut over there. Double jointed knees. And then the ankles move down. They move up. And she does have ankle pivot. Now measuring this figure, you can see Ahsoka stands a little over six inches tall. And then for your size comparison, here she is next to the Black Series Kanan. And then we have the Black Series Darth Vader. Then here she is compared to her former master, Anakin Skywalker. And then here's Ahsoka next to the Marvel Legends big time let down Spider-Man. Whoa, never met a chick that had white and blue colored hair before. So let me ask you, do the curtains match the drapes? <coughs> okay, probably deserved that one. So while doing a little bit of research on this character, I came across the season two finale of Star Wars Rebels, and I'm so mad at myself, I need to catch up with that show. Uh, what I was watching looked very cool, and I'm so much more intrigued by this character now. I want to learn more. I think she is very awesome, and I think they did a really good job on this figure. I really do like it a lot. At first, I was frustrated, but no, it's very cool. I dig it, and I highly recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of the boxes popping up over here for more shart in your face. If you have not yet hit the subscribe button, Please do so for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. This Memorial Day weekend, I posted up the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation for April 2016. If you haven't seen that, check that out over there. And then before that, I did a review on the NECA Toys Quarter Scale Mark 43 Iron Man from Avengers Age of Ultron. And if you want to check out ShardimusPrime.net, we got t-shirts available. Also, the song Posing Action Figures, which is coming up next. And if you want to see the latest in Star Wars news, make sure you go to JediInsider.com. I'll catch you guys later. Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. You know, especially for having the skirt.